all the days. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, what's the material that you use? I use metal? brass and sterling silver, and um, all of my ear wires are sterling silver. 925? Yes, uh huh, yeah. I, um, and I hand cut all of my silhouette imagery, which is what I'm demonstrating today. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. I use a, um, I make myself a, a template in Photoshop, and then I will just paste it on the front of my sheet of metal, and I drill a series of holes, one for each little bird. Wow. And then this saw blade uh -huh. feeds down in through the hole as my starting point, uh -huh. and then I'll just cut along the lines to get each little Wow, and what is your razor bird. that you use to cut? It's a, it's a jeweler saw blade, and so it's actually got teeth along this front side, uh -huh. um, and so I'll just, if you have a minute to yeah, hang out, I'll just feed it through. And oh, make, almost like a thread. Yes, it's a very, they're very, very narrow and a little bit brittle, so they wow. sometimes break. I'm trying to see, trying to not break too many. Right. right. <laughs> well, that's interesting. You have to get the right like thickness. Right? Mm hmm So I'll just kind of cut along the the outline there. That is delicate right there. Yeah, wow. he's tiny. <laughs> you had to go to a good thinner one for that one, right? Um, the blade I use is actually the same size for oh, each is. one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it can cut, like you see these little legs? Oh my gosh, It can yeah. cut those tiny little delicate legs. Wow. Um, it's just the, the scale of my um, template is a lot smaller. Like see these little yeah, yeah. spurs there? Like I'll cut those with yes. that same blade too. How do you cut off the excess? Um, I didn't bring an example, but it would be the same thing. I would start from the outside as opposed to feeding my blade through the middle. So I just do, 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 do use the same blade. The same blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The blade is generally um, correlated to the thickness of the metal that you're using. So I can use the same blade to cut the same metal thickness. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not very uh, heavy. They're not very heavy because they're hollow. Like you see the construction here, so it's just these thin sheets of metal that kind of give the illusion of something really big and bulky. But yeah. Change what happens. It just makes it happen a lot faster. I see. So, so that's the first color. And look what a pretty color that is. That is don't you love it? Now, I don't stop there. Yeah. I, you know, I just did this one. And this is a single one that will be a pendant. Well, but yeah, it's kind of totally like multicolored. But this will be, well, and they, they are all multicolored. If you look at them, you'll see. Yeah, yeah. They all have yeah. usually three colors. Yeah. Then I can recolor that part to a lower range yeah. color. And, you know, I mean, the colors are, you know, they are what they are. So once the voltage colors, there's no going back. You can't go. Well, up. there is by oh. removing the surface. Uh, but not through the not through And then you can recolor it. And there oh, are I see. Okay. there are acids that will take the layer off, but oh, I don't that like yeah. anything that will eat titanium. I don't really want to work with. Yeah. So now those two parts have no color. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put them back together. I grab them by the beak because then I can see everything and see, you know, watch here. Oh, wow. See? And did, if you were watching closely, you saw that it goes through all of the lower voltage colors one at a time to get oh, yeah. there. So that's just the voltage. There's designs that I saw out on the back of the piece. So this is the front, oh. and then this is the back. Oh, so you can see all those designs on the back of the piece. And a lot of them you can wear them either way. And you do it all with that kind of... All by hand. Mm -hmm. wow. Each design starts out with a separate hole. So you can see this one's got a lot of things drawn in there, and I just draw it with a Sharpie. And so on the back right now, you just see a bunch of different holes yeah. that are on the back. And what I'll do first is slip the saw blade through the hole, reattach it to the frame, then I can saw within that area. I was trying to figure that out mechanically yeah. how I did that. So I just tighten the frame, it's just held in place with tension right there. 
and this is kind of like a wax that helps the saw blade work better. And then I literally just start sawing it out by hand. Now, are you able to use these little pieces? Yeah, save? yeah, oh, I good. did. Wow. And then the next step is using these files, mm -hmm. and I'll file the edges. I kind of round off the edges, even even up the edges. Right. And then I'll use the half round file to knock off that sharp corner. Right. Amazing. Amazing. Right? It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, nice. So there's so a lot of Native American either. symbols that I use. Uh, yeah, you can shy. wear them either way. <laughs> special kiln that I made. I pull, it has a hole in the bottom and I pull, once the glass you cut in the rod, so I can actually pull the rod. You know, and I can make it as thick as thin as I want it to be. You can also make like curvy stuff, you know, because I teach classes and people love all the different lines you can create. So I'm just heating the very tip of it to begin with, so there's a, a small amount of heat getting to glass. If I suck the whole thing in, it would probably shock, so the glass would fly off. <laughs> the tip would fly off into the crowd. It wouldn't be a good thing. <laughs> uh, once you have some heat in the tip, then you should be able to introduce a little bit of time. Like I said, I've never, I would, so I would never stick the glass in, from over here into the flame right away because it would shock. So you always start introducing the heat. Oh, on that piece of repair there, I use an actual lid and I put it on top of my sheet of silver by putting it through a rolling mill, which is two steel rollers. It's the pressure that makes that texture. So then I use my jeweler saw to cut it out and I form it to make it, you know, like a little, little dimension. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, thin sheet to wrap around the stones, and then I'll make the settings for them. So, what I'm doing right now is I am painting where I'm going to solder close uh, 
problem with a substance called flux. And if you've ever watched a plumber put pipe together, they use a different kind of flux. You don't need a big flame for this because the metal's kind of thin. Metal. Yes. Legal pyromania. Are you making a ring? No, I'm actually making a bezel setting, which is the collar that holds the stone down on the piece. Oh. So this is a bezel around this stone. Oh. So to get from point A to point B, I shape the bezel to wrap around this stone, take the stone out, solder it. And when I'm done creating the piece, then I'll set it as the last thing. Can I go to the right side? Just a second. Okay, you're doing good. That's good. Scroll. That's good. Oops. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, I'm the horn. Follow the ground. Keep it, yeah, keep it. Keep it passing in now. Okay, come to the face. Look at you. Scuff and hit back. Now. Stop. Take a look. Okay, go to the horn. Hook the horn. Come to the ground. Drop your left hand. Get right back here. That slows it down a little bit. <laughs> There's a great turn in Orlando with it set. Every step is preparation for the next. So it takes two pair of collars to cut off. We're going to cut this off. This, this is a minus. We want to cut this off. Yeah. Yeah. About right there. So we can back over, we can, he can feel the dent. Boom, 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 boom. So now we're set up, we're going to put the dent in the center of the fire. Heat up. So the first swing is right here at the very edge. And we roll it and we lift it. And the anvil becomes a passive hammer. First was at 45 degrees there. And I rolled and I lifted 22 and a half. And I came in like that. Back to flat, roll it the other way. And it makes a short three-sided foot.